Hello friends, welcome to my channel Media Creation Club with the latest updates. In this video, I am going to show you how you can fix the solar system in your house. So this video will help you how you can fix the solar plates in your house, how to fix the solar charge controller and then how you can fix the inverter in your battery. And then you can see the proper connection to get the proper voltage for your load. So all everything you can get in this video before we continue if you are new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe my channel press the bell icon for the new updates so let's begin to our topic and then see how we can fix the solar system in our house or in our office or anywhere else so as you can see here the i bought the four solar plate uh, 170 watt with the output is 12 volt so i am going to fix this four new solar plates with the solar charge controller and then inverter with the 2500 volt battery so i show you the batteries also so this one is the solar charge controller if we fix the solar plates so we fix the uh, this controller uh, for the control only the solar and then this one is our inverter as you can see this one is uh, our inverter I am showing the just company name as you can see here then I am using this uh, tubular battery as you can see this one I am using the tubular battery uh, for my voltage and then the voltage as you can see here 2500 and uh, 12 volt tall tubular so we just learn the connection properly so easily we can uh, fix the solar system in our house so this one is the four solar plates we are going to fix so I just arrange properly and then uh, do the connection and then show you again. Okay friends, so now you can see the all the plates. We need to join all plus plus together and then minus minus together. As you can see the, the voltage of the one plate is 170 watt and then the maximum power volt uh, ampere is 18.83 volt. So now we open all the cables and then join together looping together so we loop first and then we continue okay friends so now you can see here all the four plates the this plate minus this plate minus this plate minus and then that plate minus all we loop together as you can see i already joined the minus all together and then take out one minus cable and then plus also we loop together then take out one cable so now we uh, these two cable we bring down and then put in the charger uh, converter so we bring these two cable so four minus all together and then plus also four together we not do the series connection we just take out the two cable here two cable here two cable here two cable here so one minus together one minus 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 together all four cable joined with the one take out one and then plus also same so these two cable we bring down and then we continue Okay friends, so now these two cable come from the solar plates then we fix here in the solar charge controller so we open the solar charge controller first and then before we fix the solar cables we need to fix the battery clips and then we give the input So we give the input battery first before we fixing the solar cables here because if we fix the straight away 
the solar energy to this controller it will burn or burst or overcharge that's why we need to fix the uh, fix the battery cables here in the, the solar controller so we fix the battery cables first here and then we continue okay friends so now we put the battery connection here the plus is here and the minus is here so we fix first the battery connection now we fix the in the battery the minus first then plus you can see here now the display is already come so this one is the vo battery voltage because the battery is fully empty so there is no any current in the battery only 12 12.4 volt is uh, currently showing the battery so this solar ca solar cables now we fix here in the solar minus and plus so, so now you can see here the battery this two cable going to the charger controller and then this inverter is coming here directly to the battery then this inverter will giving us the output supply 220 volt then we directly give the incoming ac voltage so once our electric don't have the inverter will convert the 12 volt to 220 volt voltage so this one will work after the our battery is charged because now currently battery is fully empty i cannot show you the output voltage if even i own uh, this one is the low voltage battery so ups is not working because the battery is fully empty currently because since three days there is no electricity ups and then ups gave us the output supply to our all the systems and so now you can see here our solar is giving the 2.3 ampere voltage because you can see here so currently charging mode is you can see the battery is uh, a bit moving so we will see how how long it taking charges because now is evening time there is no sunlight uh, so solar is uh, not giving too much voltage so we will see how until what time or until how many hours to we get the this our battery getting full and then we get the electricity so hope this video is going to helpful for you if you like this video don't forget to thumbs up please subscribe my channel press the bell icon for the new updates thank you